What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? Uh, what's good what's good we tuning in for another video man we got a little semi busy day today some maintenance and some other stuff we're gonna talk about some plans and all that stuff we're gonna do but um y'all see i got everything to cover i'm about to move some stuff around i still think i just looked over there wifey car i think power stern we got a little leak i think it need be tightened a little more but not messing with it i let this and them snug it since uh it's gonna be on the lift anyway to be easy to get to we got to run this over there to lawless we got to drop wifey car off today uh so it can they can get ready to get started and go ahead and knock that exhaust out we're gonna go ahead and do her headers at a different time some ceramic coated uh she really i probably stepped the primaries up just to hell but she don't really need them the ones i originally was gonna put on there so we're gonna do that Time for a spark plug change on Dolo. So I'm about to do that. I'm going to end up changing the spark plugs and meets. I don't know if I'm going to do it today or wait till later. I think I said I'm going to wait till later. Because I like to run my cars nitrous ready all the time. You can put a, a hotter spark plug in there and make it run a little better on motor. But I really don't care. My cars are nitrous cars. I mean do good on motor but uh i like to run nit nitrous ready all the time but the downside of them a colder plug with a colder electrode they they do foul out a lot quicker than uh a hotter spark plug which you are running pretty much the everyday vehicle and i'm probably gonna end up running this running dolo over there to jesse let him go through the valves and stuff. I can do it too. I know how to do valves. Uh, I got filler gauges and all this stuff. But like I said, sometimes time, man, uh, it just time consuming. Like, and I don't know. Sometimes I feel like doing. It, sometimes I don't. But I might. Uh, I might run through the valves the next time the next go around for y'all. Just for people who don't know how, might not know how to. Um. And that's why you keep your cam card and all that, so you know where to set your last hit. But I'm finna go. I'm gonna stick this in the car for the people that that ain't saw. I, like I told y'all one time, they what wife wanted. I bought these. I bought these for her back months ago. But did what she wanted. I said, I said, boy, you finna be loud. Uh oh. Ah. I'm trying to get them out. Here we go. Do what she wanted, these little micro, these micro thing, boy. They finna be loud. But this her first, this her first hot rod motor. So, she want, I guess she wanna go through that experience. But man, let me uh put this in here, then we're gonna hit these spark plug. We gotta run the auto zone too, because I got my wheel bearings, some good, good wheel bearings for meat. And I talked to... I talked to Quick Performance Car. I'm like, where the third member at, man? It's all waiting on. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the rent in and brakes done. I wanted to make a date. I ain't gonna make it though. I ain't gonna make that that date I originally was trying to make. But uh, what I think I'm gonna do, y'all, is once this get done with Meach, I'm gonna go ahead and rent the track. Like I've been saying, I'm gonna rent the track. Uh, I'm about to go ahead and place an order, get some more racing wheels for Dolo, so I can get some more radios. Cause y'all know I got a new set of radials, but I only got one new set. The other set that I'll use for Dolo or use, and they wore out. 
But y'all know I use those for ride reactions now because they'll work good. They'll work good in the road because they so wore down. So now I need another set of back rims with another set of new radios. So meet to have brand new radios, which I already got. Dolo have a brand new radio for the track. And then I got the radios in there that wore out I can use for ride reactions. So that's what we got. We got to get some rims, some more rims for this car. And brand new uh, radio pros. I need a set of slicks. Man, I need about fifteen hundred dollars worth of tie. I got to get a set of twenty-eight inch slicks. Call mine out there, man. Well, I really need, I really need two sets of rim, but it just, it just too much, man. But let me put this up with any talking about that. I'm gonna get set up so I can get this. I can talk to y'all about this stuff while uh, I'm doing these spark plugs. So let's do it. Okay, it's uh now as I was saying about the tires, y'all. So I'm thinking to explain, cause some people probably get confused. Like, what you what trying to do, Jay? <laughs> All right. So look, really, I need I gotta buy a set of radios, new radio pros, and I got to buy a set of slicks. I got the set of slicks out there that I had got from Up early last year, but they used. So I need to buy a brand new set of slicks, 28s, 28 10 slicks. And then I need a set of rims for those slicks. Cause with me, the reason it takes so many rims for me because I don't like, I don't like switching, switching the, the tires out. Yeah, I could go, I could go to the tire shop and switch the tires out or, and just do that, do it like that. But, I don't I don't like doing that. I want to just grab and go. That's an extra step I gotta do if it's race day. So that's why I need a set of rims for that. And then I need another set of back rims for the new radios. Cause I told y'all the radios. I got two sets of radios and rims right now. That little black. Need some tune. But uh like I said, I like to keep the war out set just for ride reactions. So then race day, I get my race day uh, wheels and put them on in case I want to take Dolo and Meats. If I want to take Dolo and Meats, then they each got their uh, own set. That's why I said I need another. And so, so basically we need two sets of rims, two more sets of rims, man, back wheels. I need to talk to Jeds, man. I want your Jeds or... We can work something out. Cause I do promote, man. I, I don't promote the hell out of them. And then I'll be doing these skits, but I'm skit be here. But it's because it's some it's some people can relate to. At least in the South. I don't know if people up north got a type of character like that. <laughs> but in the South, man, that what that what we got. Like it ain't uncommon. If you got a hot rod, you probably ran into a uh, uh, old head like that. And I hope people don't be hearing me say old oh, head thank you disrespectful man. That's just what we call. That's what we call man. It ain't no disrespect. OG, old head, it's all the same. But uh and then I gotta get old, another set of tires. Got our track. I gotta get some 26 inch slicks. Cause y'all know I use them for uh, I use them for uh brown coat and R and B. So we gotta get a set of them. And I really need to set a back rim for that, but man, I can't, I can't keep buying all these wheels, and they ain't, and they take it up the road. I already got too many now. And people like when I, I be seeing the comments, when you gonna get your shop? I'm gonna get a shop. It's not a problem. It's just uh, the stuff I got a timeline of how I do stuff. Like that shop is not that serious to me. Like it ain't gonna make me no money. It's gonna be a tax dedu deduction, but it's not gonna make me any money. Well, I guess you can say. I mean, I be doing content, but I really ain't gonna make me no money. Cause uh, all it's gonna do, I'm just gonna be working on these and doing stuff to these cars on the inside instead of the outside. But I'm doing that now, so it's still still the same. That's why I'm not in a rush. Like I'm gonna get it when I get it. I'm just gonna do everything at one time. Pull the concrete. Bring the building in, everything. And I just be glad that I have somewhere to store the stuff in the garage more so than the cars. 
I don't care about the car sitting outside. I'm going to be real with you. It's just the stuff in the garage. I need the garage, so, because that's a project. The garage is a project. And the shop hope, hindering us from finishing that project, because y'all know we work out a lot. We love working out, lifting weight. We passionate about that, so that's our gym. And we can't complete our gym or buy any more equipment right now because of the space. And it's the tools and parts, tires. So when I get the shop, I'll be glad that I have the space for uh to put that stuff up then. But we're gonna have a shop, y'all. We're gonna a shop coming. Shop coming. And when, when I do, when I do do it, it's gonna be at one time. Y'all know how I do. Like when I got the uh store built, I just popped up and did it. So uh just know when I make the vlog and y'all see the y'all see the concrete slab poured, that's what I'm on. Uh, I'm, I'm the type of person, when it comes to a big project like that, I, I like to stay on it. And something about me, which my wife know and people close to me know, my family, something about me is uh, when I'm on something, I'm on it. That's when I'm on right then. I'm laser focused. Like I get, I get tunnel vision. Like you hear people say tunnel vision. Nah, I get it for real. I get so focused on that right there, that like I can't think about nothing else. That's why I say it's a gift and a curse. Cause boy, I, I, I run myself to death. Because I be having goals to achieve. And I get so focused on it. Focused on it, caught up on it, man. Like, hey, I just be locked in. So, uh, so that's why I said, when I do the shop, when I do the shop, I'm just gonna do it. And they're going to be on all at one time, like pour the concrete, bring the building in, get the electricity, all this stuff at one time. Just boom. Move all the stuff out. Then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna finish the gym. We're going to graffiti the wall. And yeah, we're going to be good, man. But uh, there we got plan for that. Let's see. The plans for... The real plans for uh, the cars this year, man. Cause I'm really at the point where I don't have, n I don't be having nothing to do to the car. That's what I'm telling y'all, man. Enjoy the process of building. Cause I, I don't have nothing to do. The car runs so good. This all I have to do now. And then really, what you want to get to? If you keep fooling with them, yeah, you're gonna mess on up eventually. Or you might tell on up, but. All I have to do is change spark plugs and oil and put gas in mine. Change the belt here and there, but even when I'm spraying nitro, like the tune, nitro tune, perfect. It's on point. The plug's black. It need to be tuned on motor. I just ain't, I ain't really, I ain't really put a lot of focus on it. But reading the plugs, the last, the last few times they came out, it's a lot of power left on the table. I'm talking. I'm talking 30 to 40 horsepower left on the table, which is enough to tune and make, go out there and see a big difference on the time slip. And some people probably don't believe that, but I, by now, if you've been watching me long enough, you ought to see I know what I'm, what I'm talking about. I just, sometimes I do play around and I say stuff wrong. Or they try to run some engagement. They're just, they're just me. I've been doing the internet stuff so long, I mean, it's just what I do. But... Uh, like I said, it's it's a uh, it's a lot of power left on the table. It's definitely a lot of horsepower left on the table. It need it need tuning on the motor, and that'll actually help it on nitrous too. Clean up the motor tune, it'll help it on nitrous. So I need to really book a dyno session and really tune like go and and tune this joker. Instead of just running, trying to get power, or uh, see what the numbers is. Cause uh, it need it need to, and I'm probably going to do that this year to get all I can get out the engine. Cause I know 30, 40 horsepower left on the table, which will put, which is going to tip me over well over in the 500 range. It'll make 500 real wheel horsepower motor. I know it made four, made 476. 
Made 476 and it running rich as all out though. So I need to lean it, lean it out some. But uh yeah, this year I'm gonna see how the year go. I still ain't told my time on motor. Out of respect for people. And I still have not told what this thing run on rims. And I'm, I'm probably not, not, not right now, not on rim, cause I, I got, I got some stuff I want to do on the rim. Uh, I got some stuff I want to do on the rim, so I'm not gonna just, you know, just tell the time on that just yet. But soon, soon, my people. Man, this third spark plug, boy, catching. Gotta go get a wrench. But um, that's what it is. I always do this side first, did the hardest side. When we get this side done, we gonna. I wanna drive this joker, man. I could drive the parts though, but I don't wanna dirty up the plug. Cause I wanna have this car ready. Uh, I might take it. I said I was going to the track this week, but I forgot Super Bowl this week. I ain't going to the track. But um, y'all probably like Jay. You in the football? I ain't really in the football. I like basketball more. But Everybody watch Super Bowl. Um, but next, next, next track trip probably gonna be an actual event. Maybe I don't know if I'm gonna take a car. I probably, I probably go there and film and stuff. Or I might not go at all. I got my cameraman. He gonna go. But I don't know. But um, I'm gonna say this. I wanna get this thing ready, and I gotta go ahead and buy them tires because we're gonna have a private testing coming up. Um, I am gonna rent the track. I already, I already got it. I already got it in the works. I'm just waiting until I get the parts for meat. Cause that's what's gonna be my first nitro run. It won't be at a testing tune with nobody. It's gonna be at my own private testing test session. It won't be nobody else deal. If I want to invite somebody or some of my people, but it won't be no, it won't be no outsiders deal. I'm gonna say that. It ain't gonna be no outsiders deal. It's gonna be my family, my my mother-in-law and stuff, my father-in-law. They probably come. So they can see the cars. They ain't never saw my car running at track in person. So uh, I am going to rent the track, make arrangements. So I'm going to take the whole fleet itself, Grandma Nana. I have no intentions on running Grandma Nana at track anyway. But I'm going to get the truck there, uh, the two boxes, of course, and RB. I'm going to make sure everything there. So I got to get these tires. And uh, with RB in the in brown coat, I probably just switch the tires over. But I don't know them. I know y'all won't see brown coat a long time, but if I don't have that nitrous hooked up on brown coat in time, I'm not, I'm not taking it. Cause I know it gonna do what it gonna do on motor. I already know. It ain't nothing gonna be different. But uh, I'm trying to, I'm waiting on meat. When I get the rear in the car, then we're gonna do the test session. And I'm gonna take a uh, Dolo. And uh, we're gonna turn Dolo up. Cause I still ain't got it. I, I, I got, as as far as nitrous, I can go up, I can go up about another hundred horsepower on nitrous. That really what it's set up for. It ain't it ain't it ain't set up for what it got on it now. But I can go up about another hundred horsepower on nitrous. That's what it's really set up for the ring gap and all that other stuff. So more left on the table. And uh. When I do do that, I'll tell y'all how much I got on and all that. But let me go get that rent, man. We're going to finish this up. We're going to hit the auto zone. Then we got a warm wife car and all that other stuff. Y'all stay tuned. Well, we got, we got that all wrapped up. Uh, so now, I feel like I'm going to drive Grandma Nana. Ah, shit, that joke. Hold on, y'all. I was going to drive Grandma, Grandma Nana to the parts though I know they're my daily driver out of all the old out of all the old school they're my daily driver and just call so the I don't know it's cheaper man you know and tread well on this on these 26 versus the 14 I'd rather really buy them 14 all day but um we gotta move these so I can get wifey car out cause what we gonna do it's just drive hook over there, kill two birds one stone, cause she in town. And we can go ahead and drop that off. And I go by the parts though. 
We'll holler at Scott. Let's see the thing print right. It's warm. When it's warm, it'll do that. It's real deal cold start. It's cold outside. It's over with them. It's over with them. Oh, hey, it want to stop fire up and stay running like that. Hey. Bring some gas back, too. I gotta bring some gas back for this thing. Y'all know what? I, I probably won't. I'll put some race gas in it. Probably fill it up with race gas, man. About two hundred dollars in race gas. And uh, let it run through the system. I'm gonna move this one. Then we'll hop an RB. All right, time to get this one. And then wifey car.
ready to roll. Get over here. I'm in Big Emma today. Not Big Emma, the Mighty Emma. That's what I call. I'm in the Mighty Emma today. But for the sake of me not being stuck, I'm taking this. I ain't, I ain't taking no chance. I can't remember if that gas hand working that thing or not. But if it don't, I pour a little bit on. I pour a little bit on in there. And we'll be in there. I need to go see. I need to go see my boy A Rod. Cause it's time for me to re up. I need a lot of gas. I need a lot of gas. Cause uh like I said, I always really do sticky stuff. I always hope I ain't gotta use it. I like to put uh racing gas in the car from time to time. They ain't gotta have them. They ain't gotta have it, I meant, but I like to put them in the from time to time because keep they keep stuff clean, they run better, all of that good stuff. Let me see. Put it behind the seat. I'd be glad when oh, oh, oh my bad, y'all. I'd be glad boy when I go ahead and get the interior done and wife car. But we're gonna go ahead and get the headline done, ASAP Rocky. Let me get over here, man. Let go on. Um, Go see Will, get my money back for that stuff, and then uh, go and see Jesse. Hey y'all, I just got the autos on. Then I, I pulled up. Li listen, listen, did now. Listen to this. Y'all hear how loud this thing they got? Boy, I said, man, I'm glad I brought this can. Cause I probably, I probably wouldn't make it to the gas station. I probably wouldn't have made it to the gas station, so I'm going to put, I'm going to put just enough in there to get, uh, get over there to lava, because wife is already waiting. And then we pick it up, we'll, um, we'll put some more gas in there, because they took here about out. I'm going to do this, and uh, turn y'all back on. All right, y'all, checking in, man. See, we got Mighty Emma dropped off. Boy, David over there sounding good. That thing sound good, boy. Jesse, Jesse did that whole car right there too, man. He did the exhaust and everything on that car, the whole build, all that. Pull it off, thing sound good. All of them. But y'all see, we got the mighty Emma dropped off. Uh, wife already over there. We almost ran out of gas, but <laughs> we made it, man. So uh, everything good. Shout out to my boy David. That was David called me. That my boy out there took me for a ride in the Coyote. He got two of them. He got two of them Mustangs. So, yeah, man. We finna continue this day. Uh, Y'all, stay tuned. Okay, we back, man. We back at the house, y'all. Um, the Mighty Emma is dropped off at Lawless. Street cars and fabrication. Uh... Y'all should be hearing it this week. That's if wifey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure wifey go ahead and edit and get on top of it, man. Cause I know y'all be ready to ready to hear it and still gonna be ready to see it. I'm gonna be ready for everybody to hear it too and all of that. So hopefully she go ahead and get on top of it. Cause I know they're gonna be finished with the car in like a day or two or whatever we dropped out there eating. So it probably it, it we it, it'll be back this week. It'll be back this week with a whole new with a whole new tone. Over but uh as for me I was going to go ahead and tune it up man I had I had something had hit me man I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm finna do but it got a little too late now I'm finna go ahead and set me to up for the nitro right because I'm being itchy man this is gonna kill me I'm finna set me to up for the nitro and then I will make a I will make a test hit, man. I will make a test hit on the gas, on the foes. But I'm gonna turn it I'm gonna turn it way down just to see, just to get a reading on the plugs, and to see how it takes or whatever. Cause you know obviously I wouldn't be on um, smacking it from the line, and I wouldn't be spreading it until third gear. So that's what I'm gonna do, man. So we might be on the agenda for that. 
uh, tomorrow. We might be on the agenda for that. There ain't gonna be no full hit, obviously. It's just gonna be get on it for a second, off of it, especially on these tires. And you know, and man, I gotta get some new car cover. My junk. I re I did that. This some good cold, man, but I did that. I ripped right there. And I, I ripped that one, so I'm like, man. I ripped Dolo. Dolo, Dolo need one. Dolo, it's time for Dolo. It done got, it done thin. It been almost a year on this one. So, you know, it just ripped today. I'm finna order two of them. Wife is, wife is old. Hugs in the trunk. But, yeah, look. Another thing, the reason I cut y'all back on, because I got a lot of parts for sale still. Uh, and I'm finna, I'm finna show y'all. The inventory while it's on my mind before we close this thing out. Look, I have three sets of Flowmaster. Two sets. Those are the 50 series. I gotta cut the other one out. I have the mufflers that came off of R and B. If you want a price on anything, hit my email, jmalcolm 2004 at gmail.com. This is all stuff I'm selling though. I got a set of Flowmaster 50 series, the ones that came off of R&B. Your car will sound different if you got a hotter engine. Trust me, the muffler sound different. The engine affect how the muffler sounds, bigger head and all that. But I actually end up liking the way these sound. I got 40 series Flowmasters down there. Wifey has 40 series that coming off her car, so got them for sale. I have this carrier. This is an 8.5 carrier now. It's an Eaton 8.5 carrier. That's the one that came out of Dolo. I am selling it. Why, Jay, you busted the inside. They rebuildable, man. You can go on Summit right now and get an Eaton rebuild kit and rebuild that carrier, man, and save yourself a lot of money. That's an 8530 spline carrier. I'm selling it because that's why I kept it the whole time. It can be rebuilt and you have a brand new carrier. Uh, I have this dual plane intake that came out wifey car, which is like brand new. I got that for sale. Dolo old radio. Box Chevy, that's a Box Chevy radiator. It'll actually fit in a G-Body, too. I take the lint, it'll fit in a G-Body. So, G-Body, uh, aluminum radiator, oil it'll fit in a Box Chevy. Um, got the Vortex heads, they just been done. But, as y'all see in this, they probably sold. See, I just had a valve job done on the valve seals and stuff in them. But they, they are um, good. But them Vortex heads, they probably sold. I have... The stall converter, this 4000 nitro stall converter that fits a 350 power glide or 400 transmission. I have this stall converter right here, which is like brand, that's pretty much brand spanking new, man. That's a TCI Ultimate Super Street Fighter stall converter, furnace braids and all. Uh, I have it for sale. It fits a 350 400. Power glide, it's a 3600 stall speed, 35, 3600, depending on your application. I have, uh, they in the box over there. I got 456 gears for 75 ring and pinion. Uh, so I got that 456 gears for sale. We have, what else, man? I got so much stuff. I got a Small block Chevy camshaft, like brand new, the cheapskate, cheapskate old camshaft. I got that for sale. I got G body headers for sale that came off of R&B. Uh, man, I got a bunch of stuff, man. I got a bunch of stuff. I'm trying to think. What else? Man, I got a bunch of stuff for sale, man. I think that's all I can think of right now. That's in my face. I'm in there looking around in the shop. That's in my face. Oh. I got a Holly Black fuel pump that's brand new. Y'all know the story. If you've been watching the vlog, man, you know a lot of this stuff I bought, tried, like, hey, nah, this ain't it. So I got a Holly Black uh, fuel pump, electric fuel pump, brand new, man. Like, brand new. Put it on. Y'all know it was on Dolo for, it was on Dolo for maybe a week and a half and came off. And then, uh, what else? I had a, I got a Holly Blue. I'm keeping that though. I need that for a uh, brown coat. That's the, that's all I could think of right now. I gotta go back in there. I got some more stuff, man. But I gotta go back in there and go through everything. I'm gonna have to really just pull everything out and put it in a separate bin for the for sale pile, and uh, let y'all know. 
but that's all I have right now. If you need any of that, if you need any of that, man, hit my email, jmagum2004 at gmail.com, man. We'll get it straight. Uh, what's come? What's to come this week? Um, wifey call dropped off check. Then we're gonna tune meets up, man. And I'm gonna, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't hold off no longer, man. We're gonna hit meets across the head, man. We're gonna see what it do. All right, now I'm saying on the rims, they kind of feel like uh, taking them off, but I might just get smart and take them rims off. Cause that, that thing, that thing can be a handful on on motor if I just was to stab it. So we might we're gonna have that coming. And hopefully, hopefully tomorrow I'll be hearing y'all saying that the third member shipped out. And then hopefully when if the third member come this week, then Jesse probably, man, my boy Jesse probably gonna get me in there if it come this week. He'll probably schedule me in that week and then we can get done and we'll it'll be a real good productive month, man, call. We done got wifey car done. I'm just waiting on transmission for wifey car. I'm finna take my boy DJ now, see how he coming on that. And then, Kyle, that's all we're waiting on, huh? Once, once the transmission go in Emma or uh, in the stall converter, which it needed, man. I was driving. That thing got some power. It got some power, but it got to get past that. It had to get past that point, man, Called the camshaft, the converter. Our right, car ended up filling up. But as I was saying, the converter and the camshaft battling each other, man. They clashing against each other. So, um, that that's that's the whole thing. So, once wifey, because we're ahead of the game. She got the exhaust. Uh, once wifey get the converter and the new transmission in there, then I can I can go ahead and schedule in for with Jay Hall, and we can get her repainted and done over. Like she'll be in the game. Once once she come from Jay Hall, man, it'll be interior, interior next, and uh she'll be in there, man. And in between, then I'm gonna go ahead and do her suspension. I'm gonna get that that front suspension kit with the A on the tubular A ons and all that stuff. And come with the coilovers out for all front and back. And it come with no, it's a complete suspension overhaul. So it's gonna have all the front stuff, uh, all the trailing arms in the back car. It needed when I was driving it, I was like, I forgot how spongy it is, cause you know, it, it still got a spring rate for a V6. So it's real spongy. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that on, on board. Go ahead and do that. I might do it before or after paint. Either way, in between that'll get done, depending on what, what Jay Hall got. Uh, Jay Hall will say, hey, come on, Jay, let's knock it out. Then it'll be done after paint. I go ahead and order it while he paint. And literally when it comes from the paint shop, we'll schedule in with Lawless and get wifey done with that. Then all she got to do is get the interior. And she'll be she'll be pretty much done after that. So her car, her car for sure be done this year. Like it'll be, it'll be pretty much complete this year to her liking. Uh, that's going to be our, pretty much our project. So... Yeah, that's what we got, and then we're gonna get Grandma Nana painted because that's all I'm doing in that car for right now. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all, man, this year I probably uh, be, won't be doing a whole lot of actual building and drivetrain stuff because I got bigger things I'm working on, man, outside of this too, business and stuff, and like uh, life stuff. Because right now, my goal this year, I'm gonna tell y'all my goal. My goal this year is to pay this house off like pay this house off this year which would be way early way way early so that's why i'm like man i'm finna crack down and uh just pay this house off that, that that's my plan pay this house off this year and i and it ought to be done well before the end of the year so that's my plan and then between time i probably will buy one car this year i ain't gonna lie i probably will buy one car this year because uh, i'm gonna get one of the cars that uh i might buy two Cause I'm going to get one that I really wanted, and then I'm going to get one that wifey really wanted. So I'll probably end up buying two. But that we got coming up, um, we're trying to knock meats down. That's why I ain't been touching on the other car. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm laser focused on that. I'm trying to knock meats down because they're my, they're my baby. And y'all know it sat the longest out of everything. I was real patient with that. So I'm trying to get meats completed, and it's the most highest. It's the highest car. So I want to get the rear end stuff, and uh, then I may do, I may rebuild the front end some of it, and uh, after that we gonna knock knock out brown coat. We're gonna go ahead and get the nice nitro done on brown coat. So wifey first, then meats will be going to lawless next, and after that brown coat will be going to lawless, and then I'll be 
taking brown coat to the track a little more. It'll be like brand new coat. We have nitrous on it. And we have tram brake. Oh, and I gotta go ahead and I gotta get that converter through in there. Cause I got I got a converter coming for Dolo, the right converter. That's all Dolo lacking. The right converter and I'm a oh anti roll bar and the double adjustable ups and lower. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and get that on the way. So yeah, we got a lot, we got some stuff shaking, man. We got a few dry trains still shaking, man. Just getting getting stuff knocked out and all that. But yeah, that's it, man. So I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all later, BCG. We out.